Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today we're talking about VR chat, comparing it with the Oculus Quest and the Oculus Link. Let's go! Hello, welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. That's right, my name is Lasius K. So, if you're familiar with VR chat, you can skip this skip. There's timestamps in the description below. Otherwise, let me give you a very quick overview of what it's all about. VRChat is an amazing platform that was created by Jesse Drodery and Graham Gaylor a few years ago as one of the world's first virtual reality social media platforms. It received recently in September 2019 more than 10 million US dollars in a Series C funding round. VRChat is not just a platform to entertain the consumer, but very much underutilized by companies who are looking to promote their brands or their products in virtual reality. It has tens of thousands of people who use it and you don't just need a VR headset to use it, you can also use a PC. So it brings PC users and VR users together. The possibilities in this platform are completely endless. It provides you the flexibility to create your own custom environment. Whether you want to use a template or you want to create something completely from scratch, you can choose to your heart's desire. You can place some products inside, some logos here and there, really whatever you want to do and just call the room something different so it becomes like a themed event and people who go inside can experience what it is that you're looking to share with them. And you can also create a custom avatar. So can you imagine people walking around in different worlds or you have staff who are in your world as dressed up as assistants, but they're actually logos and they can talk to people and they can provide the information that you are looking to share. How cool is that? So today we're going to look at using VRChat with the Oculus Quest completely wirelessly and compare it with when we use the Oculus Link cable, which plugs into the headset and then uses the graphics card power of the PC to run the app. When you're using the Oculus Quest and the Oculus Link, both provide different forms of flexibility. When you're using VR chat using the PC version or the Oculus Link version, you're going to be able to go into worlds which were built using a PC software that's only compatible for other VR headsets who are PC VR or PC users only. So if you have an Oculus Quest, unfortunately, unless that world is compatible with an Oculus Quest version, you're not going to be able to go into that world. Or if you are, then that world will have some limitations. For example, the Pug world only has one floor for the Oculus Quest, but on the PC VR, it actually has three floors or more that you can go up and explore. So for example, Japan Shrines world, when you use the Oculus Quest and you go inside, you won't be able to see any of the buildings. Everything is white, all the structures are white. So there's not much to see. There is an Oculus Quest test version which you can go through the portal and once you're in you again you can tell the difference in terms of graphic power between the PC and the standalone Quest version. You know in the PC version you can see the ambient inclusion, you can see the nice floor, the gradients, the structures are much better defined. There are two key factors to take into account when powering these worlds whether for the standalone VR headset or for the Oculus Link version PC VR. First is the number of pixels required. The bigger the environment, the more structures inside of it, the more pixels it's going to take, the more computing power and resources are going to be required to generate the graphics that are needed within the devices. The second thing is the actual type of computer or machine that the architect is going to be using to create these worlds. The less their machines are good, then the less graphics are going to look beautiful. It's that simple. But if you look at the VRChat Hub world, for example, which is generated by VRChat themselves, there isn't much difference between the standalone version of the VR headset and the Oculus Link version, if not for some molecules or particles of snow falling down or the ambient occlusion and the shadows aren't as smooth but really you can't really make a huge difference. So it just goes to show that the Oculus Quest does have the capability to generate really beautiful worlds. So there are a few things to take into account when you're generating an avatar so that it's compatible with a standalone Oculus Quest. First of all, you need to remember that there's going to be a certain number of pixels that you can't exceed. Otherwise, 
Oculus Quest users with a standalone headset will not be able to see them. They will appear as dummy robots. That's right. So to reveal those avatars, normally what we would do is go into our settings, click with our trigger, show reveal avatar, and then they will reveal themselves in their full glory. However, if you are using an Oculus Quest, you can reveal the Oculus Rift avatars, but unfortunately you won't be able to see the PC avatars. Now there are some differences in how the avatars will look like depending on also the machine that the designer will be using to create those avatars. For example, how smooth the skin looks, how the protons will bounce off so to reveal the light and the shadowing and all those kind of different things too. If you updated your Oculus Quest to version 13 recently, do note that the microphone on the Oculus Quest itself will not work if you're using Oculus Link. You will need to put a third party microphone inside of your line in of the computer. And also it doesn't mean that your third party computer microphone will work in other apps, but it will work in VR chat. So do know that you cannot use the internal microphone of the Oculus Quest using version 13. You need an external microphone. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate your support. Remember to like and subscribe so that you and I together we can grow the community and help as many people in VR. Yeah, because that is what it's all about. In the next video, we're going to be talking about the Oculus Quest and Bluetooth technology. That's right. So hang on for that video. But until next time, as always, take it easy and DJ, take it away.